Hey everybody, Jochen here and today I'll show you how to start your editing project in Premiere Pro and take the multi-track audio from Audition and sync it up into your project. If you want to know more about how to do the multi-track recording in Audition, have a look at my other video linked below. Let's get right into it. So you'll see in front of me I've got my multiple audio channels or audio tracks recorded and what we're going to do now is take the game audio and the Morphox audio and pull that into Premiere Pro. Now you'll see that there's no comms over here, it's because I've played on my own and there was no Discord or Skype or TeamSpeak coming through. So I'll only be interested in the Morphox and the game audio. Now if you open up the recorded folder, because we named the channel game audio, comms and Morphox, every time you start a recording, it'll actually place it for you in a different WAV file with the appropriate name. So I am interested in Morphox 004 as you can see there. So I will take Game Audio 4 and Morphox Audio 4. Now once you have that, open up Premiere Pro which is where I'll be doing all my editing in. So I've got my template in Premiere Pro here already. Now we want to include audio. What I'm going to do just to keep things nice and nice and tidy, I'm going to create a new bin and call this audio. And let's add gameplay and box. So you'll see here I've selected Game Audio 4 and More Fox 4. And now I'm simply going to drag it from here into Adobe Premiere Plus. So I'm just going to drag it. And you'll see as soon as I get it to here, it gets a plus icon. Just drop it into there and there you go, it's already in included. So when you drag it like this, it doesn't actually create a copy. So it just references back to the original file, but you can then create your own time sequence and all that. Now one thing that we need over here as well is of course the shadow play recording. Oh, I didn't put it inside, let's just drag it in there, there we go. So for the recording, let's create a new bin, video, and now we can just browse to where I keep all my shadow play videos. So yes, shadow play video, Battlefield 1, drag that into the video item, imports all the files. So now I've got my video there and I've got my recorded audio for the multi-channels there. Now what we want to do is actually line up whatever I mentioned during my communications in Morphox and then with the game game audio. That is why I record the game audio alongside my own voice. Once you've got your video in here, we need to drag it to the timeline. So the easiest way to go about it, right click, new sequence from clip. That'll create the sequence for you there. And immediately in your timeline, you now have the video and the audio associated. Now this is where the magic comes in in trying to align the multiple audio channels with what's going on in the game. Simply go to your audio that you dragged in and I've got channel 2 and channel 3 so I'm going to take game audio put it on channel 2 and more Fox put it on channel 3. This is my own my communications and also let's just scroll up over here scroll up over here and scroll up over here. So now we can see everything that's going on here. So this audio and this audio should be lining up. Now if we zoom out just a little bit, you'll see that it's misaligned. And to fix that, pretty straightforward. You can either do it on your own, which means try and line it up as best you can. The problem with that though is you don't want to lose your synchronization between your audio, uh, in-game audio and your voice communication audio. So the other thing which I found pretty easy, just shift this up a bit so that you've got enough space to work with. When you're going to synchronize it, the recorded game audio with our audition recorded game audio, right click 
and go to synchronize. So we want to synchronize audio and we want to track channel 2. So it's audio channel 2. We want to track this channel against the mix down option is actually what we're after because the mix down will line it up as best it can. Tum -tum -tum -tum. And done. So now you'll see it's actually shifted all our communications to the left and it's kept the game communications where it is. Everything's lined up nice and easy. And even if you zoom in a little bit, just hold Alt and scroll in, it is lined up perfectly. Now sometimes what you'll find is that it might line up with one or two frames out. And there's a video in my playlist area for helpful editing tutorials that can help you solve that problem. Personally, I really don't care because I've got my audio there. I've got my video sound already active. And I simply just delete this now. And I know the video and the audio starts at the same time. And excellent. We're all done. If this video helped you at all, please like and subscribe down below. Drop a comment if you have any feedback or questions. Thank you for watching.